Hello Boosted Fam and welcome back to another stationery review video. In today's video I'm going to unbox and do first impression and review of the new um, planner from Scribbles That Matter, the Bullet Planner. As you guys know I love Scribbles that matter. I used to use one of their journals as one of my bullet journals as you can see here And I was very excited when they announced the release of their new planner Before we start I want to be clear with the fact that the video is not sponsored and Scribbles that matter did not send me the planner I did buy it on lunch day and also I want to warn you I did this video as soon as I got the journal, so I was like overly excited, so um, I may be screaming a little bit um, at the beginning of the video. So yeah, I've warned you, you know guys how much I love stationery and I can get very um, like crazy and loud um, if I'm very excited about something. With that being said, if this is the first time watching one of my videos, my name is Ricardo, I'm a 24 years old um, Italian student currently living in Paris. If you're into bullet journaling, stationery, motivation and all of that, please do consider subscribing to the channel because I post videos on a weekly basis. And yeah, with no further ado, let's just get started. Oh my god, hey, listen, if you tune in, you know what you've signed up for, which is me screaming about stationery. Today, the days are great because I have no class, the class got cancelled, and I just got in the mail the new Scribbles the Better Bullet Planner. Now, I just saw it, and I literally literally started screaming, so I was like, Ricardo, you need to put the camera on and do a proper unboxing. So be ready. So, ta-da! Can you see how beautiful this is? I mean, look at it. So this is the box, and I was not expecting this. That's because when I bought this on a Monday, on lunch day, um, what I was expecting was a journal. Let me look for the picture on Amazon. So there you go. That's what I was expecting. So I was not expecting to receive this big box full of colors. And so that was such a big surprise because on the website, they they don't show it up, and that's a good thing, I'd say, because it makes it even more exciting to get the box. So, let's have a look at the box itself before we start. So, first of all, this box is so heavy. <laughs> I'm wondering how many pages there are in the planner. Because seriously, this guy is heavy. On one side, you have this beautiful Scribbles That Matter um, cover page. I freaking love this font here, and I love all of the colors. Here you have, um, you know, the symbol here. I don't even know, like, how to call it. And I love, like, the symbols here. Wait, let me zoom a little bit in. So you can see here is, like, a crown, some stuff here on the side. I just love the box. And I so feel, like, not opening it <laughs> because it looks so beautiful. If we have a look on the side, so, yeah, the same um, image continues here. And then on the other side, yeah. It's yellow, and we're gonna go through the description here. Bullet planner, why this planner? Keep your planner nicely clean with consistent symbols and colors. Key code. Mark important events of the past, current, and next year. Year at a glance. Tracking your weight loss journey or Instagram followers. Track your progress through the entire year, one week at a time, annual progress progress tracker. Create a vision board of your ideal life on spacious real estate, planning space. Make goals, list tasks, review the month, track your habits and assign meaning to each day of the month, month at a glance. How long are you sleeping? How many hours do you actually work? Plan record your activities for all 24 hours of the day and get motivated with quotes while doing it. Weekly timekeeper. There is more to a day than that which can be written in appointment time slots. What did you learn? What did you experience? Dailies. Forgot your password again. Store hints to passwords for those countless accounts you own. Password reminder. Test all pens and markets here before you run your new planner. Pen test page. Finally, have tons of free space to do your own thing because we are all unique. 
This is so emotional. I'm getting so emotional, Squeeballs. I know that you're watching. I am getting emotional. So I think that now we are ready to actually open it. And yeah, I'm going to open it here. All right, so basically you make it slide like that. Oops. There you go. And then you um, make it slide again. <laughs> All right, so this, um, we can put it aside. And there you go. <gasps> wow, this is so massive. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Okay, so this looks so much bigger than what I own. I know that this is a B5 journal, not an A5, but it looks just so much bigger. Wait, let me get my current A5 journal. Alright, so as you can see here, compared to the Loyster 1917 and even the other scribbles that matter that I have, this is so much bigger. That's why I'm having a hard time to find a good angle because I can't zoom in. So let's have a look at the journal itself before we dive into it. Whew. So first of all, I love the texture. It's the exact same texture, I'd say, that the other uh, scribbles that matter that I owned, and it's the same color. Down here, you can see Bullet Planner, and I love this font. Wait, let me put it on this side. So you have bullet planner, you have a, an elastic band, a giant elastic band to keep it, you know, closed, but I don't want to dive into it yet. On the side, you have, as you can see, a different color, and this is to make it open uh, flat, I, I think, because it's, it's a very big um, planner. You need this you need to make it more flexible and make it lay uh, flat. On the other side, it's plain, as you can see here, and then down here, you have the, the scribbles. So yeah, as you can see here, it says scribbles that matter, and you have some um, doodles here, sorry. So um, this is pretty similar to the Pro version. I don't have a Pro scribbles that matter, but on the Pro version, basically, it's a plain um, journal, and then on the back, you have some doodles down here. Now, I think we are ready to just dive into it. So the first page is black here, and it says scribbles that matter, bullet planner, the following scribbles belong to me, day journal started, day journal ended. And it smells so good. <laughs> I wish you could smell it, but it does smell super good. All right, so as we open it here, on this side we have the key page with the bullet code and the color code. I love this page on my uh, other Scribbles That Matter journal when I had one. And I really had fun um, filling this page in. See, that's what it looked like on my old Scribbles That Matter. Here you have a year at a glance for 2017, 18, and 19. And this is very useful. I love how you have all of this space around to write stuff. And that's amazing because usually when you have this page on your journal, you can't really write much, but since you have, you know, some space around, you can use it. And I, I really, really like uh, this, um, the fact of adding dots around it. I'm not sure if you can see here, but there are dots up here and on the side so that you can write stuff next to the calendars. As we move on, wow, annual progress tracker. And yeah, as they said on the box, you can use this to track different things. I'm definitely gonna use it to track um, Instagram followers and YouTube subscribers, I think. And you have two for the whole year. As you can see here, you go from week um, zero all the way till the end to week 52. And you can use the graph to track whatever you wanna track. And you have some space here on the side as well if you want to write stuff on this side and on this other side. And up here, you have a description of the page. So here it says annual progress tracker and before it said here, you're at a glance, so. And this is actually good because you can easily like find the pages if that makes sense because you can look at the corner and see oh so the, this is the year at a glance so 
you know, that's where the page here is. Moving on here, you have some planning space. So these are pages that you use for brainstorming and plan things ahead. Next, you have a month at a glance spread. As you can see here, the spread is not specific to a given month. So if you get the planner on February, March, you can still start. Um, from the first month at a glance. Down here you have a monthly overview with the number of the days here and on this um, boxes here I guess you put the day, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and so on. On this other side you have a habit tracker, a goals to accomplish section, this month's tasks and end of the month review. This looks very much like the traditional habit tracker view. So you have the day of the week, um, the date, and then you put all of the habits that you want to track and you know, you fill in the tracker. I really like how they implemented a goals to accomplish and monthly tasks and end of the month review in one page. And so I guess you have 12 of these. Wait, one, two, so yeah, so you have 12 pages so that you can use your bullet planner for a whole year. Next is a weekly time keeper. So this is basically a weekly spread that you can fill in with all of your appointments and tasks and all of that. As usual, you have like a section here around that you can use to write things in. Oh, and I love that you have some quotes on this side. The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step, Lao Tzu. Wow, I love that they implemented quotes. I don't know if there is going to be a different quote for every week. So next you have your dailies. So as you can see, um, the page is divided into different sections. You have Monday, Tuesday, all the way till Friday. And then you can decide what to do with these. And I totally understand because usually I have Saturday and Sunday together because I don't have as many things to do. And then you can use this part here for like memories or I don't know, for writing down some thoughts, doing some journaling and all of that. So I understand, you know, the extra space down here. As we move on, there is a quote for each week. Now, I don't know how many weeks there are going to be here. So the rest of the planner is weekly spreads and dailies. Um, so it's supposed to last one year, so you have enough weekly spreads for the whole year and you have a different quote for every week. And if we go to the very end of the planner, so at the end of the planner you have some extra pages. It says extra creative space up here. So you can use these pages to do whatever you want to do. And then the last spread is the password reminder. So basically you put, as you can see, the account, the user ID and a password hint. Not gonna put the password itself um, because that wouldn't be secure, but it can be useful, you know, if you have safe hints. And actually I do see myself using a spread like this, but not only for passwords, but also for important information that I need to remember. So yeah, I can see why this can be useful, but it's important to have cryptic hints so that people can't, you know, um, find out what the password is. Then on the very last page, you have something a little bit different. You can see here it says mindfulness, Flip through this planner from the first page to the last. See all the scribbles, a mirror to your past. What have you learned? How have you grown? Reflect and ponder when you are alone. Oh, I really like this final page. It's important, you know, to reflect on what happened and how you've changed and how you've grown. Here we have the usual pen test. Um, and I'm going to do a quick pen test to see um, what the quality paper is, all right? All right, I've tried different um, sachets on the page, so let's see. Wow, as you can see, um, the paper holds so, so well. You can barely see anything. There's actually no blade through 
and barely any ghosting. So the paper is just as I remembered from the other scribbles that matter, very, very good. Now something else that I didn't point out is that you have three bookmarks, which is very good. As you can see, I usually uh, enjoy having two. So if you have a third one, that's a good point. As you can see the planner stays flat pretty well thanks to the binding here and this part here that makes it open flat pretty well. So overall, I'm very happy with the product. The only concern that I have is that it's kind of heavy because there is a lot of paper, but since it's supposed to last one year, I totally understand why it's so massive. I really enjoy the pages at the beginning, so the key, the ear glance, and the progress tracker and all of that. Something that probably I'm missing on this is more like free pages on a monthly basis because I usually have a whole setup um, of, you know, the monthly spread, the weekly spread, the dailies. So um, this kind of reflects the actual setup that I have on my bullet journal. However, sometimes I'd love to have some extra free pages before I start the new month. I love to have free pages that I can organize as I want. And you do have some extra creative space here that you can use, which is good. Now, do I see myself using this on a daily basis, bringing this to class? I'm not 100% sure about it because it's very big compared to what I'm used to. I'm usually like bringing this size to class. So switching from this size to this size may not be easy, but I kind of want to give it a try, you know, to see how it works. I see for those of you that, you know, have to plan a lot of things in advance, it's super useful to have um, a planner like this because you can you know start planning in advance and lock things in especially if you have like appointments that are coming up in a month two months three months from here so it's gonna be fun to see whether i like a more fixed system because as you can see here the weeklies and the dailies basically are fixed and then it's up to you to fill it in or if i don't and i feel like switching back to a journal Anyhow, let me know in a comment down below what your thoughts are about the planner. Are you going to get one? Do you plan on getting one? Do you see using one? The planner is absolutely beautiful and I think that overall they did a great great job and I love the fact that they implemented some aspects of bullet journaling into a planner thus creating this bullet planner which is a very original product and that is something that I have never seen before that I'm very excited about and I'm sure that you guys are going to be excited about it as well. As for the price I got this on lunch day so it was 20 euros but um, actually, it's 25 they had a discount for the first day. So as of right now, the planner is at 23 euros, and I think that that's a very good price considering the size of the journal and how many pages you have and all of the extra pages and the quotes, plus the quality of the paper. Um, so I think that the price is actually very good compared to the quality of the product that you get. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know in a small comment down below what you thought about the bullet planner. Have you bought one yet? Do you plan on getting one? Please let me know your thoughts about the product. And uh, yeah, as usual guys, I hope you all had a great, great day and stay boosted.